na hit na wala. Two weeks ago, I went fishing with this man. Now, we killed a flathead because turtle shush kebab the flathead. If you don't know what a shush kebab is, when you fight the fish and you wind in the line too much, you've got the tip of the rod here, the tip of the rod there, and the fish is coming up, and you wind it in so hard that you actually push the, you push the rod through the brain of the flathead, bang, and it kills it instantly. And it's like a shush kebab. You have the meat shush kebabs. So we said, I don't want to throw it back. It was oversized. Luckily, we took it home and we cooked it that day. But ever since that trip, Good. turtle knows not to shush kebab fish ever again. We're out, Jimmy! Have a look at the weather this morning. Oh my God, it is beautiful. I did sleep in a little bit. Yeah, it is what it is. We can sleep in, I suppose. When I get to the spot, guys, I'll tell you what we're doing today. I'm just sounding around at the moment. I'm not going to stay out long today because I know it's supposed to be windy today. And it's already started to, like, chop up a little bit. We'll get him early and see what happens. We've got Rocco out today. He's not happy. All right, we're still trying to mark him up. No luck at the moment. Look at that. Must be fish smashing some bait there. Still trying to find them. We'll find them, man. They're out right here. I reckon I've come too late. We just want two, that's all we want. Two nice ones over, say, 35 will be perfect. These are the only marks that we can find. Dank it down now and see how we go here. For 10 minutes, nothing will move. First thing you want to do, you want to burly up. Rocket your ass in. Put a couple in there, unfreeze them. I should have done that while I was sounding around, but just couldn't be bothered. I like to use the head. What I do is I just put the hook through the eye like that. I put it through the back like that and just pull it through like that. And then it will sit like that in the water. We've got the first rod in the water. Kind of quickly, burly, in little cubes like that. Right, we've got one already, straight away. Whoa, nice one. Oh yeah. Oh, this is a nice one. You see this fish or what? Oh. Nice one. Nice. Yes! Alright. Uh, nice one. I don't know what it, what size is. I'll tell you guys in a sec. Yes, he's 32. So we'll keep him. He's good. That's just how we do it around here, you know. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Just scream. Burly up. Bring him to the boat, yeah? Uh, it's gonna go. It's gonna go. Watch. Hopefully we can get it on camera. Take it. Small. Oh, this one's gonna go too. Oh. On. I got him. It's on too, this one. Yeah, I'm on. Yes. I reckon that one's on too. I'm going to put this here for a sec. Leave that there. I reckon this one's on. Nah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's a nice one. Look at this. Give it a run for the camera. One run, one run. Yes. Give it another one. Oh, man. I tell you now, nothing better than this. Oh, come on. Where are you? Oh, uh, really heavy fish. And this is what it's all about here. Oh, man. Oh, I can't bring it up. It's a big one. Where is he? Oh, foul hooked him. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Foul hooked him. 30 centimeters. We're going to keep him. He's not going to make it anyway. 30 centimeters. Seasick. Oh, shit. I'm done. No, that's it. I'm done. 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 <laughs> Did you really think we were done? We're the A team here. No one outfishes us. That's why we're the best in Australia. Well, good eating, man. Oh, go, go. Oh. Oh. Yes. Up a bit. Where is he? Come on, baby, come out to play! Woo! Alright, buddy, you can go if you want to run, you can run for the camera. 
I don't care. We just want to have a look at you. That's all we want. Have a look at you, okay? Let's get a look at it. Wow, that's a nice one, man. Oh, nice one. It's a nice one. All right, all right, all right. Hey, beautiful. Look how it's hooked. Oh, he's peeing. Take this hook out of its mouth. Oh, look at that. All about, isn't it, boys and girls? Like, it's gonna go. Oh, it's gone. Oh, that went. Oh, greedy. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Don't worry about me anymore. He took that and. And we're hot at the moment, I tell ya. Whoa! Look at that! Oh, look, at that. look at that! Man, I wasn't even gonna ready for that! Oh, is it there? Yes! It's there! Oh! What I'm gonna do? Whoa! Whoa! Woohoo! I'm gonna let that go for a sec. I'm gonna put this other rod in the water. Look at that! It's gonna come out. Oh man, this is fun. Wish Alex was with me. Oh no, he's still there. He's still there. So you can get another one on this. Oh, man. It's chained over. Easy. Oh yes, this is a nice one too. Oh, that one's gonna go. The other one's gonna go. That one's gone. Woo! Oh man. It's a nice one. It's probably about what? 40? 45 maybe? See you later, mate. Enjoy. That's what it's all about. But if I don't, then I don't. And I feel sick. You know, I've been out here now. Battling away for you guys, being a bit crook. Don't hit me! Go one more time, please! You tie me up! Do you want to go fishing with the best fisherman in Victoria? <laughs> These are Alab Alabon A's. You put them in your eyes, they make your eyes nice and clear and they wake you up a little bit. Is that good, Rock? Another one? These are Ablon. Oh. Oh. Let's just go. But look at all these seagulls here. I'm gonna try here. Like 20 minutes. A lot of people have been saying, Luke, what lure are you using? This is what we've got, bro. This is all I use for squid. You know, look how smashed it's been. When you got the squid king at Queenscliff, everybody's gonna come around and see what I'm doing. Oh, I'm hot, baby. There's a bit of weed there. Let's cast right there. We're gonna get one off here. Ah, there's flies everywhere, bro. I'm gonna teach you a secret. So when you've got your drone, your GoPro in a bag and everything, this is what you do and you want to go for a swim on the beach, take off your shirt, your shirt over that. Got to teach you young kids a thing or two. That's why I'm the best fisherman around, because I'm on, the, I'm on ideas, man. I do what it takes to catch fish. Look, can you tell there's something under that now? You can't even tell. That's how it's done. Look, nothing even here. Rock, let's go catch some fish, brother. I gotta do this and I hate doing this, but once it's done, I'm wrapped. One, two, rock! Two and a half. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Okay, we're gonna get out there and get him! All the boats are around there. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on! Oh, I'm stuck! I don't wanna lose this shit! Go on, go on! It's off, it's off!
can't even catch a squid at Queenscliff, like the best place in Australia to catch fish, what it's known for, what it's true bled for. But don't forget, I'm the heavyweight champion of Queenscliff. Do you remember that squid that I caught? World's biggest squid at Queenscliff. No one's beaten that. And if you forgot, I'm gonna roll those clips on right now. Just got another one, people. I'm gonna throw that rod out. I'm gonna let this one go. Oh my God. Another one. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. What's at the bottom? I don't know. It's at the bottom. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh my god, it's a monster. That's why you let the rods just go down. This is a monster. Where's this net? Why don't we hit the bottom? This is the one we want. Oh my god. Look at the size of it. Come here. Come here, come here. Oh my god, look at that. No, what's happened? Oh, it's stuck. Yes, no, 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 no. Oh my god, yes. No, I can't even fit in the net. Put him in the boat. I am still the heavyweight champion in Queenscliff. Whoever thinks they've caught a bigger squid like that, please send me a photo. Who's out there that's caught a bigger squid than that? No one. Tentacles were like that on one of them. Look how thick, like that. It's like my fist. Shit. Rock, I told you not to move from the spot. I have no idea now where it is. We have moved so much. Shit, what have I done? What did you do? What? Really? You reckon it's over here more? Well, come on, show me. Show me. Ross, come here. It's enough mucking around. I've got to find my things. I tell you, it's here somewhere. Yes! Right, we found it! In the future, make sure where you, you mark the spot somehow so you can find it. Good tip. And they're out there. They're out there. Take a moment right here. Feeling like a sound gear. Driving towards the sun. With a rose and a gun. Feel the wind in my head. special guest today it's absolutely chaos here man it's boats cars trucks trailers everything everywhere Porticles beast here we're about to launch it in the water now we're gonna go for some pinkies or some snapper or some squid whatever we can we don't really care but why should I call you captain Portico a pro he's done this before hasn't he Alex what's going on bro what's your name Leo Leo we got Leo and Alex they said they want a dose when you go on the when you go up the ramp. Like this. That there, like that, and that's it. I've got this bloke here, Dylan. I'm gonna roll on these clips and he caught this. I don't even know what this is. I did not expect that.
Jeremy is dealing with the after photo of that beautiful fish. Let me know if you took it home and you ate, you ate it, bro, and how do you cook that? Do you fillet it, take the skin off, and put it in a bit of oil? Or how do you do that? Um, or do you, yeah, let me know. Or do you cook it full, bro? Let me know. And remember, if you video it, you've got it forever. You can show your kids, you can show your grandkids, you can show your uncle, you can show your grandfather, you can show your dad, you can show your best friend, you can show your teacher. So please, send your video here to Luke Fiazan on my Instagram. I'll pick one every week and I'll play it here. Or if you can't, just any photos, guys. That's about it. Play the footage. What is it? I don't know. Not a snapper. Huh? It's not a pinky. Talk us through it. What do you think it is? A fish, something in the water. I can't see it. It's alright, is it bending? It's bending. Yeah, but it's not kicking. Fuck, look at all the squid. Get it, get it, get it, get the net. Oh, lift it. Oh, no. Oh, it's in there. Whoa, it's a torpedo. There were so many more with it, but no. Are these torpedoes? They they bite you hard, yeah? Do they? Didn't you know? No. Oh. Alright. Don't import ghost fishing us, <laughs> Jay. Oh, mine's on, mine's on. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. Rod holder. And he swallowed it. Here's this. What is that? I've never seen it. Shell stick, right? Let me have a look. Hey, yeah, come on. What is that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's gotta go. Take it, take it. Go, go. There we go. Oh, look at that. And he goes. We're on here, I reckon it's a funny. Hey! Look at that circle hook. Look how easy that is. Yes. Get the net. Yeah, nice one. Bring it in, bring it up, bring it. Lift the rod up. Ming, yeah! I haven't used a net like that in a while. What I did was what was wrong. I put the net too deep in the water to try to scoop it from underneath. You've seen my old school net from Tripoli. It was built in about 1968. I'm old school. This new technology just doesn't do it for me, guys. Thank you. Woo! Yeah. 37. Yeah. Perfect. I'll tell you guys, so we fished the other spot for about 20 to 25 minutes. We didn't really get anything besides flatties. So we made a move and straight away, bang, we got one. Yeah. Oh, all right. On. This is a nice pinky. Oh, yes. Circle hooked right in the corner of the mouth. What we use perfectly. He is. Let's have a look what he measures. Whoa. Thirty-two. Beautiful. Oh no, he's nice. This one's a keeper. Bringing him up, Richard. Bring him up slowly as he wants to go. You can't rush these things, eh? Give him in the asshole. <laughs> I'm gonna cook our pal. Snapper, our pinky, realistically. We've got it in here in the bag. I might take it out so it can defrost. Look at all these fish here. Many there are here. I'll go first. Welcome to Saskatchewan, boys. I'm gonna defrost that snapper. The frost within hopefully half an hour. Leave it like that. Beautiful, it's a bit sheltered from this reef and this rock here. It's a nice beautiful view here. Jeez, the Waiting for this to defrost. If you ever wanna sleep in a cave like this, there's three things that you gotta look out for. Number one, footprints. Dogs, wolves, dingoes, or humans. There's no footprints in here, but there's signs of humans in here. How do I know? There's glass. To flush out any spiders, you wanna light a fire. The smoke is gonna get rid of any insects or spiders or rabbits, foxes, anything in here. It's gonna shoot them out straight away. You wanna lift 
to make sure there's nothing under these rocks. Spiders hide under there. And then you want to clean it all out. After it's cleaned out, pretty simple. I use this for more than my stove at home. You hungry? I know you're hungry, Rock. Rock, come on. Don't go that way. Oh, woo! Beautiful, beautiful. Rock, thank you, God, for letting me eat and catch fish. Thank you. What are you doing, Rock? You okay? Like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Thank you all. Woo I'm going to show you how to survive out here without an, if you don't have an esky and you want to keep it cold. Oh, you tell me stories. So you want to dig you and tuck me in. And the second you leave, I call you right back to check for my sister in my shoes. And I'll show you guys. Yeah, high school was gonna tell me obviously where I buried the fish, so always speaking, left emotional scars. Now I'm sweating a soul of fifty years.